Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play a Russian tune called Katusha, also known as Kazachok. <laughs> This is one of a type of Ukrainian dance tune called a Kazachok, uh, danced by Cossacks. And uh, this is probably the most famous of that type. During the Second World War it was made into a patriotic song called Katyusha. Katyusha being a diminutive form of the name Katya. And uh, strangely the, um, there is a type of a Russian missile uh, <laughs> which is also called the Katyusha, named after the song. And if you've seen any of the footage from uh, the Second World War in Russia, uh, in the, the forests, in the snow, there are these trucks with um, uh, what look like tubes on the back and there's that awful howling and all these rockets take off up into the air and they are the Katyushas. Um, I learnt this tune from a friend of mine called Vladimir in London many years ago and it's always been one of my favourites. It starts off in the minor key and goes into the major and it works well slow and medium and fast and I'm going to give you several different versions of it. So let's start off with the basic tune. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's the basic tune. I'll, I'll speed it up a little bit and I'll add a few double stops. But uh, if, if you really like this tune, then check out some online versions, because there are many. Uh, mostly performed by Red Army choirs and orchestras and soldiers. And you can see a, a very um, instructive version of Vladimir Putin sitting at a piano playing this. Uh, if you look closely at his right hand, uh, he's playing with his right hand, but although, although the left hand is um, sounding very good, it's not actually moving. Uh, I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions on that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's just play that again with the backing. This is one of a, a collection of around uh, a dozen uh, Russian tunes that I've played a lot in the past that I've put together in PDF form and if you want a copy of this then you must join me on Patreon and uh, for all my patrons it is free. Uh, it's one of a number of collections which I'm going to be putting up there. So now let's look at the, um, the more interesting double stop version. So what we're going to do here is to add a, um, a harmony below and it's what I call using the scale of sixths. So we're taking a harmony that's a third above, but moving it an octave down. So that the first note, the D, gets an F under it. And I do have a video all about the scale of sixths, which will explain this and help you to be able to do this without really thinking. But here we go. Uh, so we're up an octave, and uh, we're not really doing very much to the melody, but we do have a lot of this harmony. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
You can see that this is useful in making the tune more interesting. Certainly if you were playing it solo, it would be far better doing this with the, the double stops. Uh, if you have an accordion or a band behind you, it's not so important, but it does add to the richness of the thing. And it helps you to be able to uh, differentiate between the minors, for example, and the... Having those double stops really does help. Let's do the same thing with the backing. enjoyed Katusha or Kazachok. Uh, oh yes, let me just tell you, it does have an intro, uh, which um, Vladimir used to do, and I've seen it on several of the online versions, and that is um, two chords. Kazachok, 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 Rast, Fa, Frak. That, which is a lot of fun, especially if there's a lot of guys in the band and you can all um, put on those deep voices. Um, so yes, that can be a lot of fun. I'm going to play you out with a version which starts slow and gradually speeds up. And incidentally, I've just got the, mo the newest band in a box which I'm very pleased with. And this has uh, all kinds of uh, wonderful ethnic sounds, including this one. And it does allow me to speed up as I'm going through, as I was very glad to discover. If you would like a copy of the dots, then subscribe, send me an email, and I will send you a copy. See you soon. Thank you.